Okay guys, so first up today I want to start with my foundation. I want to go for my Fit Me foundation. I have two shades with me. I have 350 and I have 332. Usually I'm this shade. Um, but I haven't used this foundation in such a long time. Okay, I think I'm just going to go for this one only because I feel like I'm a bit darker now than I have been. To blend in the foundation, I'm going to be taking my brush. I think I'm first going to test this out. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the foundation. Apply it on my jawline. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to go for 350 because that's the shade that matches my skin tone right now. Before, I used to mix the two up. But I think um, I've gotten darker since the last time I've used this foundation. So I'm just going to blend it in. Today I want to go for something autumn inspired. I want to go for a brown. And I'm going to go for brown on my eyelids and on my lips. Can you guys see how beautiful that looks? It looks so natural. And today for concealer, I'm going to go for my Fit Me Concealer. This one is in the shade 40. I'm just going to use this to highlight underneath my eyes and to cover up at the same time. You guys, I haven't used both this foundation and this concealer in such a long time. And I don't even remember how they apply. Oh, it's really light. <laughs> Remember it to be. I'm just going to take it on my forehead too. On my chin. And on the bridge of my nose. Then taking the same brush I was using for foundation, I'm going to blend the concealer. And I'm going to make sure to blend out the outline of the concealer. Then to set that in place, I'm going to be taking my LA Pro Gold Powder in the shade Banana Yellow. This is my favorite powder to set with. And I'm sure you guys know that by now if you've been watching my videos. And I'm going to be taking this Eco Tools brush. I'm going to make sure to set the corners of my nose. Then I'm going to go in with my Yardley Loose Powder in the shade Caramel. I'm just going to use this powder to set my top lip. And the corners of my mouth. I'm also going to use it to set the sides of my nose. Next up, I'm going to take my Fit Me Maybelline Pressed Powder. And I'm going to be using my big fluffy brush from Eco Tools. And I'm just going to use this as sort of like a contour or rather bronzer. I'm going to use it on the side of my cheeks. Mm. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for my base. So next up, I'm gonna go for my eyes. And to do that, I'm gonna take my Morphe 24G Grand Glam Palette. And I'm looking for a brown shade. Because today, I really wanna go brown the entire lid. And I'm gonna go all matte. I'm not gonna be using any shimmer colors. So first up, I'm gonna need to take a blending brush. So the first blending brush that I'm gonna be taking is my Morphe blending brush. This one is more of a tapered one. Even though it is a blending brush, it's a bit slimmer than my other ones. So I'm gonna go for a really brown shade. I want something a bit burnt. So I am gonna take, you guys know the struggle with this palette, so it's really hard for me to show it to you without messing all over the place. I'm gonna take that shade over there. It's a burnt brown type of shade and I'm gonna be going in with my brush really heavily and I am gonna start on my lid and just stamp this shade in place. And take it as close as possible to my lash line. And then I'm just gonna bring it up to my crease. And then I am gonna try to blend. But my blend is going to be very tight into my crease. So I'm basically going to push in my brush like that. Making sure that the side of the brush that has the shadow is the one that's facing down. And then I am going to go back and forth like that. Then I'm going to take a clean blending brush, this one is a color blending 311 brush and I'm just going to go on the edges The next up I'm going to take my other blending brush from Morphe, this one is a bit wider um, I had used this for an orange shade. So I'm just gonna wipe it on a towel. I'm gonna go into a brown shade on my palette and it's that shade over there. So I'm just going to apply my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now onto my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking my Morphe pencil brush and I'm going to go into that brown shade from my 24G palette. And I am just going to run it down my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take this um, brush over here. I'm just going to go into the darkest shade that I have here.
here my darkest brown shade which is that one over there I'm just gonna get some of that shadow on the brush and then I'm just gonna stamp it close to my waterline so that I can make it as dark as I possibly can Then I'm going to take my mascara, this one is my Revlon Ultimate All-in-One and I'm going to apply it to my lower lash. And that's it for my eyes, so now I'm just going to go back to my skin. Um, I want to bronze up my skin yet again, I'm just going to be taking my um, W7 Casino 3-in-1 blush highlight and contour palette and I'm just going to take my blush brush from Eco Tools I'm just going to go in with that shade over there, that bronze shade and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks And for my lips, I'm going to take my LA Girl lip liner in the shade Chocolate. And I am going to take this lipstick, you guys, I love this lipstick so much. Um, this is the Stay Fast Lipstick from Yardley and it's in the shade Sienna, it's this one over here. Then to finish up the look, I am going to take my Maybelline Lasting Fixing Spray and I am going to spray this all over my face, covering my eyes. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video and thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, please do not leave before subscribing. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.